What's up guys, War here, and today I'm showing you the fastest build in all of Diablo. It's the best build to farm Rainbow Goblins. Let's do it. Welcome to the video guys. Today I'm showing you the fastest build in all of Diablo 3. It's a monk build. There's no other build that is faster inside of Diablo 3. Nothing even comes close to this. Now, this build is specifically used for farming Rainbow Goblins or doing your Wimshire runs to try to get the Rainbow uh, banner and the sword and the hamburger offhand dagger all those things to get through really really fast you want to have a, the fastest build in the game and this is it so all right guys let's get right into the build and everything that you need to use this okay so we're going to start off with the things that you can uh you can get fairly easy is just the captain crimson set you need the two-piece set guys for the 20 percent cooldown reduction for your skills and the resource cost also reduced by 20 percent very vital to this build because we want to have as much spirit as we possibly can we want to maintain that spirit the entire time we're dashing around next as you guys can see we are using the three-piece set of the remnant of the thousand storms okay but we want the four piece set so we're using the ring of royal grandeur in combination with captain crimson so the reason you want the uh the remnant of thousand storms is the four set piece bonus is because dashing strikes spend 75 spirit but every time you dash you get a charge back when it does so that's why we keep our spirit really really high and then as you can see every single time i'm getting a charge back so i'm never running out ever ever okay so that's the reason why we have the three piece set here in combination with captain crimson which really helps with our spirit next is our helmet the laws of seth whenever you use a blinding flash which we have down here restores 161 spirit you can get a max of 165 but my helmet's okay um this is really good you're just gonna dash around when if you feel this is getting low you just blind flash and then you get your spirit back um next is going to be the the two weapons guys i'm using the flesh rake and the crystal fist crystal fish every time you dash you get damage reduction which is huge this build is very very squishy and then with the flesh rake every time you dash you get a uh, damage increase for one second stacking up to five times which is really good because as you dash around you're going to be hitting mobs and killing monsters because you're playing on such a low level so it helps to have increased damage you know so but we're not really worried about dealing damage we just want to dash around this just kind of helps Next is going to be our amulet and rings, guys. I'm using squirts, but you can use anything here. I actually need to have a different one because you want to have as much cooldown reduction and resource cost reduction as possible. So I really need to swap this out, but I did want to have the little bit of extra damage and then, you know, uh, just to be able to take out a little bit more of those mobs, you know, even though I am playing on a lower level. Uh, the two rings are Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac and the Rachel's Ring of Larceny, guys. The reason we want the Zodiac is because we're going to reduce our, our cooldown uh, per stack that we get which is awesome we want to keep these skills up as much as possible and then the rachel's ring guys we get the increased movement speed um uh, for fearing an enemy which is really really nice um, even though we're going to be dashing around but every time we fear we do get more um speed as we're dashing around uh next is going to be the wars wars change arm guards guys we, this is just every time you destroy something you're going to get a short burst of speed this is great because you're going to be dashing around so much you're going to destroy a lot of stuff because the uh the gems that we're going to be using are going to help create a lot of damage or just passive damage so this is really good if you want to get by really fast if you want to change this out i guess you could but this just helps get you around even faster all right going to our gems guys we are using Boon of the Hoarder, you want to get all of the this to 50. You want to max it because every time you pick up gold, you get increased speed, which is awesome. Uh, Gogok is swiftness is great. You get the dodge effect, so you don't take a lot of damage, but you get the percent cooldown uh, on top of uh, the Obsidian Ring, which is insane. And then um, you want Wreath of Lighting. This is the passive damage that I talked about because while you're you're zapping things, this trigger you know procs the, the arm guard, so you get you know a short burst of speed from the arm guards and then you're getting increased movement from the uh wreath of lightning so this is really great this is just an overall speed build guys it's freaking insane the gems we're using is the um what is that one the gem to reduce uh resource cost and then we got diamonds in here uh for just a little bit added uh defense even though you're playing on a normal level like you can play this on normal i play on torment 2 or torment 1 but you really just play this on normal you're using this just to primarily speed farm uh goblins and rainbow goblins and and speed farm for the you know the rainbow like i mentioned so onto our canaius cube guys uh we use burst of wrath so when you kill enemies and destroying objects with the wreath and then the arm guards you're going to grant 20 percent of your maximum primary resource you're going to have a chance to get that which is insane it helps keep this up 
uh, prides fall your resource costs are reduced by 30 percent for not taking damage which is all of our buffs and our shields we're going to go over with our skills guys this is going to be almost up all the time and then of course ring to uh, do our three piece and our two piece set so on to our skills and abilities so blinding flash for obvious reasons in combination with our helm guys we're going to blind enemies and we're going to get back uh, 161 spirit dashing strike obviously with um, radiance fire so do fire damage uh, next is the mantra of healing with circular breathing this is going to give you a shroud in your mantra but it's going to increase your um, spirit regeneration by a whole lot three per second which is insane uh, sweeping wind this is another passive damage so as long as your vortex is up you gain eight spirit per second with inner storm which is awesome this is up almost always so you're constantly gaining spirit back every single time you're using it uh epiphany insight the reason we took epiphany insight is because you're going to get 45 um spirit regeneration per second instead of the normal now if you are feeling a little more squishy or you want to play a little bit higher level you could use um you could use instead of that you could do desert shroud for the damage reduction if you wanted to you don't have to but you could uh, last and certainly not least is mystic ally air ally the reason we want air ally is while it's active you gain a hundred spirit so if you do happen to get low you just proc this and um you get a hundred spirit which is insane this should be up almost to the max constantly on to our passives we got chant of resonance uh this uh reduces the cost of your mantra effects by 50 percent you gain four spirit every second when you have a mantra up and then seize the initiative you deal additional damage which is great uh increases your attack speed which is great for sweeping wind and dashing strike beacon no brainer 20 percent reduced cooldown and then exalted soul which increases your max spirit by 50 and then regen by four even more so we have non-stop spirit regen guys so that way we can continue to dash around this is really great. We're going to go in and I'm going to show you why this build is so amazing in the old runes. We have our staff of hurting, which is amazing. So we're going to go around and you guys can just see how crazy, crazy fast this build is. I use this to farm for Sir William. It took me, it took me about, I want to say like five, six hours of farming Sir William uh, to get him. And then we got our rainbow banner, but that is just you know non-stop farming you can do this all by yourself or if you're in a group it's even better there's a great group that you can find to do um speed farming for rainbow goblins that's the next thing is to farm for the uh the wings which i don't have you know it, it sucks that i don't have them but i'm really trying to get them but you guys can see that even doing this solo you can just blitz across the map it doesn't even matter like you're just you're just constantly farming these and you, you just move so fast there's just no way that you don't like just the, the runs it took me i think was i think seven and a half minutes by myself to do my run for rainbow goblins and then doing this run is only like two to three minutes if that and then boom we finish it there's a little bit left right here but that's just an opening we'll clear it just to just so we have it done it takes nothing but a second to get over here but as you guys can see a couple not even a couple minutes and we're already you know we're already done with this entire whimsy shire and what you have to do with this build is is you're not looking to gain any resources whatsoever you're not looking to do that all you're doing is just trying to farm for those bosses sir william you know sparkle cakes and then if you guys find rainbow goblins you're just farming for lillian to get the wings and then the best way to do it is just to check your your death com here as you can see i killed super awesome sparkle cake she could drop the sword or she could drop the hamburger but you guys see like the build is just insanely fast and there's absolutely nothing to it keeping everything up if you wanted to play just a little bit higher like i think this build and how i have it now i can play at torment five which means, you you know, that way you're dealing a little bit more damage. You keep the things procced longer, etc. If you play on a lower level, you're just beaming through everything, which is completely fine. But that right there, guys, is the fastest build in the game. There is nothing faster than this dashing monk build. It's absolutely insane. You guys, if you build it, let me know down in the comments how if you guys build it and love it. 
Let me know if this video has helped you with your farming for Rainbow Goblins, farming for Sir William, for the Rainbow Banner, etc. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like, guys. And if you are new here, please subscribe. It really does help out the channel. We've been blasting Diablo content. The PTR is out now, so we're going to try to participate in that and uh, get ready for Diablo 4 next year. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.